good evening everybody meeting up again with the session of materia medica and we are learning the injury remedies after injury remedies we are coming towards the rheumatism remedies one by one so gradually turning from injury to the rheumatism and we have learned yesterday the rush tox an acute remedy for the this season that is the cold damp weather today we will going to learn another remedy which is little bit stronger in action than the restox a sub acute to prone and that is the dalcamara dalcamara is one of the again very important remedy in your practice specifically in this season many times you require the help of dalcamara many time you get deceived with the rush tox and then you have to take the help of a dalcamara i will share first cases and then we'll turn towards the allen's keynotes because this there are multiple cases where which i have treated with the dalcamara but few of them where how i have utilized that specifically on the basis of specific keynotes that i will going to share first important case which was happened to be there in the same weather but it is it is at the end of rainy season there are two times where dalcamara is useful at the start of rainy season when summer ends and rainy season starts that is the one time or when rainy season starts disappearing and that is another time where the dalcamara is useful the so patient came to me during this last phase of a rainy weather and he, he came with an acute rheumatism it was typical attack of a acute rheumatism where all joints were swollen nearly about since one month and patient was showing typical signs of rheumatism he said that someone have diagnosed it as a chikungunya someone have diagnosed it as a viral arthritis someone said it is rheumatoid arthritis but doctor i want to tell you something what has happened one man back i had a diarrhea and i have taken the lomotil and i took the lomotil the diarrhea stopped and next day when i wake up i my joints were swollen and it was one man back that means it was during rainy season this has happened check diarrhea leading to the rheumatism think of this remedy when you are in the rainy damp weather this is a very important remedy for rheumatism specifically rheumatoid arthritis where bilaterally symmetrical joint involvement is quite common like rustox rustox is too acute to prescribe so if a patient comes to you within first few hours first few days yes rustox might be useful but dalcamara if patient comes to you later he has been already suppressed by many medicines and nothing works this is a wonderful remedy to be utilized during this summer the, during this weather specifically it is it becomes sub, sub acute at that time and when it is because very specific cause suppressed diarrhea leading to rheumatism i, I have given him dalcamara i have prescribed dalcamara in high potency because rheumatism is to the bony level penetrating the joints requires a dalcamara either 1m 10m i have prescribed him 1m and with dalcamara one m within 3 4 days whole joint swelling disappeared gradually and patient recovered within first 15 days it was it is a wonderful remedy for sudden rheumatism either because of self diarrhea or check skin eruptions suppressed skin eruptions leading to the rheumatism dalcamara is the remedy suppressed skin eruptions leading towards the asthma dalcamara is the remedy suppressed skin eruption leading to the acute renal failure dalcamara is the remedy very important so second case was very typical of that arf patient had a skin eruptions on the body patient was years 90 years and he had a arf the doctor diagnosed that nothing is remaining we can't do anything his his creatinine is more than 10 his blood urea was nearly touching 
and he said that nothing can be done. Dialysis is not possible considering his age. And he was too hefty. And he was just vomiting and vomiting, vomiting and vomiting because of uremia. So this case was referred to me by a physician. And when I took the history from his uh, grandson, who came along with all those reports, and he said, and I, I saw his photograph, and I, I just went through that, and he explained one thing. Doctor, what has happened? His health was very good. But he developed all over the body the rash, and it was too much itching. So we took him to uh, Rauri to one skin specialist, she prescribed some medicine. She was our close relative. She prescribed some medicines. We have applied the ointment. And next day, after application of that, this disappeared, but patient started getting problem with urination. And then we checked the creatinine was increased and it goes on increasing. It never came down. And now he's, he's in a worst condition. What can we do? Because sir has said that nothing can be done with our pet. I have started him directly on Dalkamara. Here I have used Dalkamara in low potential. I have used Dalkamara in 30, but in repeated doses because susceptibility was quite low in that fellow. So I started Dalkamara 30. And after some time, after using the Dalkamara for a certain period, within first 15 days, when patient was, patient was not written, that his grandson who came to me and he said, Baba is very good. He started eating, no more vomiting. Vomiting has stopped. The edema over the body drops. He has decreased and he is comfortable with your medicine. So we have to continue medicine. And we checked his creatinine after a month. It dropped to 7.5. Then we I have continued for some time again at Alkamara. Later on, I checked it and he survived for four years thereafter and never had a problem of suppressed urine, but skin eruptions returned back after giving the Dalkamara. And I asked them specifically, if it comes out, don't apply anything, let it appear, but he will survive because of that. And this happened. Dalkamara brought those eruptions and patient recovered. And his last creatinine was 1.7. He died just one year back because of natural death, but not because of his renal failure. So this is Dalkamara. So Dalkamara suppressed skin eruptions leading to nephrotic syndrome, suppressed skin eruption leading to the ARF, acute renal failure. This is the thing. In children also, the skewria develops, suppressed, skin, suppressed urination develops in skin, uh, in children. That is uh, very important. Third case which I want to share was the case of asthma. And it was again having the similar history. It has happened during damp weather. It was because of suppressed arctic area. The patient has consumed a lot of allopathic medication for arctic area. It was chronic arctic area for him. Arctic area was very difficult with that patient. So that was, he, he told that he used to eat a lot and there was scratching and there after scratching there used to be a lot of burning and he feels better by cold water and aggravated by warmth of bed. It looked very similar to sulfur. But this fellow after treating with the allopathic medicines with steroids and cetirizine and etc. developed asthma. So he came first for asthma. And that was because of suppressed skin eruption, suppressed arctic area. So I thought immediately about the Dalkamara. I have prescribed Dalkamara for him. And Dalkamara brought arctic area again. And he came again with the depressed face that this thing has again reacted. I said, let it come. Don't worry. How, how is your asthma? He said, okay, nothing problem, no problem. So I said, let it be. I will give you medicine and it will cure internally. And with that patient, I have continued with Dalkamara. And after Dalkamara, that arctic area also vanished because that arctic area is very typical of Dalkamara only. And that also disappeared with the help of same remedy. And patient recovered completely thereafter. So suppressed arctic area leading to asthma 
is again one indication where you can prescribe Daltamara. And one more condition in which I used to prescribe Daltamara, whenever the viral warts, flat warts appears on the palmar surface of the eye, which are flat warts. These warts specifically called to be viral warts, multiple in number, Daltamara is one of the very important remedy in such types of warts. I have prescribed it many times and successfully treated many warts which appeared. But this variety, this variety is not a pedunculated variety. This variety is a flat wart variety. And specifically on the farmer suspect of the heart, this happens to be there. So these are multiple cases which I have treated with Dalkamara, which I have shared with you. Let us go what Alan says about the <laughs> Dalkamara. It is a bittersweet and remedy from the Solanaceae family. We know the Solanaceae family, Belladonna is from Solanaceae family, then Capsicum is from Solanaceae family, then Solanum nigrum is from Solanaceae family. These are the personalities where you get one phlegmatic constitution very commonly. Dalkamara is one of them. Adapted to the persons of phlegmatic scrofulous constitution. So see, here there is a phlegmatic, the patient is having quite phlegm on the body quite muscles, fats on the body. That is very typical with this Dalkamara patient. Scrofulous constitutions affecting the glands also and tendency towards the phlegmatic. Restless persons, but not that restlessness which you used to find it out with Rustox. Rustox is very restless because of physical pains and he feels better by movement. Arsenic is mental restless. The restlessness of Dalkamara is not that much severe, but Dalkamara it becomes irritable because of all those irritations. Cataral rheumatism, very important word, cataral rheumatism, where mucous membranes are also getting involved. Cataral rheumatism or skin affections brought on or aggravated by exposure to cold, damp, rainy weather or sudden changes in hot weather. Cold, damp, rainy weather. I told you yesterday three remedies. First is Rustox as an acute attack where tip of the tongue is red. Very typical with the Rustox where the patient is too restless. Patient is moving here and there. Dalkamara is a vacuum. When it is persistent for a period of a month, then think about Dalkamara. Where that acuteness is lost. That acuteness of the Rustox is lost. Dalkamara whenever comes, Dalkamara is not that acute. It is subacute. When it comes, it comes comparatively not in agony. It comes in a little bit uh, settled patient where Dalkamara is there. And third, where the it is chronic, long standing, and it happens to be there, aggravated every time with during damp weather. Natrum self is the remedy. So these are triodes which are very important and here it comes closer to the bryonia when modality is sudden changes in hot weather leading towards the rheumatism. This remedy is one, one more remedy. But bryonia more during summer, Dalkamara at the end of summer when summer changes to the wind, uh, summer changes to the rainy weather, that is the time where the Dalkamara plays. And that's why Boric has mentioned first sentence in, in his Mater America that hot days and night, cold nights towards the close of summer indicates Dalkamara. These sentences are keys. What he says? Hot days and nights are cold. In Marathi, we called it as a Visham Vatavar. So days are hot and nights are cold. This is very typical and where the rheumatism comes, where the asthma comes, at the end of summer, that is the weather in which Dalkamara plays role. So always look outside what type of weather is today, which gives and guides you towards the understanding of the remedy. And these are very specific hints which you have to look for. Increased secretion of mucous membranes, perspiration being suppressed from cold, Suppressed perspiration because of cold, because of panning, because of AC, leading towards the rheumatism, Dalkamara. This is very typical with the bryonia also. But bryonia, it is associated with dryness of mucous membranes. In bryonia, it is more thirsty. Bryonia, it is dryness of the mucous membrane leading towards the constipation. All those features are present. Here, the things are rather different in Dalkamara. 
patients living or working in a damp cold basements or in milk dairy yes milk dairy where dampness is more constantly present this is very important remedy to be think of the person who used to work in that dampness used to suffer a lot these are the people who used to suffer a lot because of rheumatic complaints because of asthmatic complaints because of skin complaints arania diademides one important remedy arsenic alum natrum sulfuricum rustox these are common remedies to be think of mental confusion see mentals which are not mentioned too much in boric or by boric or ellis but if you want to read the mentals or mental state of the person my suggestion is to go through the george vitruka's books essence of madra medica you will get whole mental picture of the dalkamara so mental confusion cannot find the right word for anything so patient is in a confused state if you ask what what is your problem and he he thinks and he feels little bit confused he talks something then stops and again stops and that that confusion if you ask name he is in confused state that is typical of the dalkamara skin is delicate see skin complaints now skin is delicate sensitive to the cold liable to eruption especially urticaria underline this and urticaria is very typical of the dalkamara every time patient takes cold and is long exposed to cold every time patient takes cold and skin eruptions urticaria comes this is typical of the dalkamara urticaria where there is a burning followed by burning where there is a followed by scratching this is with the dalkamara anasarka generalized edema anasarka and dropsy these are generalized edema what is it anasarka after egg after rheumatism after scarlet fever so after viral fevers if the patient goes into anasarka state think of the dalkama in this weather there are many patients now suffering from the dengue after post dengue they enters into the anasarka states because of suppression because of lot of allopathic medications antibiotic dalkama is one remedy where you if you get the patient is having the anasarka the face is puffed the body is puffed think of dalkama dropsy after suppressed sweat dropsy after suppressed eruptions and dropsy after exposure to cold this is what just now we have seen a case of renal failure or nephrotic syndrome this is very typical in um, in cases of the suppression suppression of the skin eruptions leading to these conditions definitely this remedy plays a very vital role it is not just be given in epidemic dropsy no not at all it is something cause is behind that it is a suppression in case of dalkama diarrhea what type of diarrhea diarrhea from taking cold in damp places or during damp foggy weather diarrhea from change of warm to cold weather like bryonia so it is very close to the bryonia in modalities many a times so changes from that is from the warm to cold weather the diarrhea develops it is very closely associated with the bryonia cataral ischuria ischuria means stoppage or reduction in the flow of urine a difficulty in passing the urine that is called as ischuria cataral ischuria in grown up children with milky urine milky means it is mm, uh, it is a urine which is very very turbid and if this happens generally in urinary tract infection specifically bacterial infection is there lot of debris is collected inside <coughs> and at that time it becomes milky many times it is also called a child urea when lymphatic kids involved there there may be a, a problem of milky urea then cataral ischuria from wading with the bare feet in cold water involuntary urination that is another feature if the patient walks bare feet in the cold water and he suffers then again this is the remedy one must think for rash before the menses very very specific patient complaints every time i used to get menses always there is a rash before that cona maculatum one more remedy during profuse menses it is belladonna and graffiti so rashes which comes during menses belladonna and graffiti before menses it is dalkamara and cona maculatum urticaria urticaria over whole body 
no fever, itching burns after scratching. So patient scratches and followed by there is a lot of burning. He feels aggravated by warmth and ameliorated by cold. So it is very closely related with the sulfur. Sulfur is also having the similar type of condition, but sulfur specifically the dryness is more marked with the on the body. Sulfur has its own identity. Sulfur has indifference to his personal appearance. Sulfur skin is absolutely dry. That is patient always scratches it a lot. So that is sulfur is a little bit different than the Delgama. Thick brown yellow crush on the skull. So eruptions over the skull, they are thick brown crush. The face, forehead, temple, chin with reddish borders, bleeding when scratched. Ringworm on the face. This is one important remedy. Ringworm on the skull. The um, atopic dermatitis generally. This is one more remedy to be think of specifically if it happens during the damp weather. This, uh, these eruptions which used to find it out on the skull. So Dalkamara is very useful in such types of cases. And last part which he mentions regarding the Dalkamara is warts. What type of warts are there? Their warts are fleshy, large, smooth, on face or back of the hands or the finger. But generally, palmer side is quite commonly involved in cases of this remedy. So this, this one has to consider over here. Thuja is another remedy compared with it. And Thuja has very typical features like that. So these are the things which he mentioned over there. Uh, then relationship, which one should not forget. Because we must know which are complementary. How, if you have given Dalkamara, patient has settled, how will you complete the cure? Many times, Dalkamara is not the remedy which covers the whole cure, whole case. Many times, it requires support. Baratakam is one important remedy. Second important remedy is the Calcarea Ka. The third important remedy is the Kali Sulfurica, <coughs> which is also called as chemical analog to this remedy. So, Kali Sulf. Fourth remedy, which is there in sulfur. These are the remedies which are given in Borix Matria Medica. If you open the Borix Matria Medica, last relationship, you will get four remedies over there for comparison. So these are four remedies. One, one must keep it in your mind. In the Allens, they are mentioned only two, Barata and Kalisa. Add Calcarea and Sulfur also. This remedy is action 30 days. It is a quite good deep acting remedy. So, subacute to acute, subacute to chronic, incompatible acetic acid, belladonna, and lac acid. These are three remedies you should not give prior or later. These are inimical to it because they are close in close relationship with this Delgavara. Should not be used before and after. Follows well after calcarea, bryonia, lyco, crush tox, and sepia. So, first you have given the calcarea, bryonia, lipo, then sepia, restock. And if you, feel, if you feel that patient requires dalkamara, you can give, it follows well. Similar to mercurious in tialism. Tialism means excessive salivation. Dalkamara has this. Glandular swelling, bronchitis, diarrhea, susceptibility to the weather changes, night pains. So, these are very common features with the Dalkamara as well as Merxol. So, you have to compare these two remedies. But Merxol, drenching sweat is there with the Merxol. Lot of thirst is there. Too thirsty is the Merxol. So, these things which we have to think of. Kalisulf is called as chemical analog. Kalisulf is chemical analog of the pulsatile also. So, these are two remedies which are chemical analog where the Kalisulf is chemical analog. For the bad effects and abuse of mercury. This sentence comes many times. In Dalkamara it comes. It comes in Hepar Sulf. It comes in mercury itself. What it means? It means that there was only treatment available earlier to treat the syphilis was the local mercurial preparation. So if uh, the, that mercury which was applied locally for the primary shankar, it's used to suppress that and patient used to develop internal disorders. But people consider that it has been cured and that is what is called as the bad effects of mercury and which was, there are many remedies in our Matriamedica which are mentioned for that. 
aggravation general modality from cold in general cold air cold wet weather suppressed menstruation eruptions and sweat suppressed menstruation suppressed sweat suppressed eruption this is very important key of the remedy very important so this is too important sir does that mean dalkamar is more cold and ras is more damp cold weather no ras and dalkamar both are cold damp weather remedies more cold damp weather remedies both are close to each other at this modality very close amelioration from moving about like rust talks like ferrum medallicum this is this is one more general modality but not that amelioration which you used to get in rust talks rust talks becomes absolutely restless and moves here and there in order to get the relief that severe restlessness is not there with the dalkamar so this is dalkamara from the allen's keynote this is what allen says about the dalkamara but he gives the key with which you can approach the cases and you can grab the cases so this is very wonderful remedy in day to day practice specifically in this specific season so one should utilize this remedy of often it is major sora remedy yes it is soric psychotic psychotic pains are more with the dalkamara than the sori because the warts are there then the this cold damp weather aggravation is very typical of the psychotic miasm so it is closely related with psychotic than the sora kiran has said sir what to do if skin eruption reappear after giving the dalkamara let it appear first wait for some time many times it disappears under the action of dalkamara only if it never disappears complementary sulfur you can give the sulfur as a complementary few doses later on but not immediately wait for some time so that you can uh, utilize that remedy many times dalkamara itself is sufficient to treat those skin eruption so sulfur is good complementary to that kali sulf is also having many skin eruptions that is also good complementary to the dalkamara so you can think about those remedies over there any other queries any other questions regarding this we can have a chat and one more major thing which i want to share with you from tomorrow onwards instead of 9:30 we'll start the session at 8:30 so it will be will definitely have 8:30 sharp and up to 9:10 we'll finish the session so from tomorrow the matra medica session is definitely at the 8:30 pm okay any queries questions if there are we can have chat otherwise we will conclude so for even suppressed fungal uh, eruptions also can we give that no uh, suppressed fungal infection leading to a crf or arf or asthma definitely definitely plays a very vital role it is a ringworm which is covered under the dalkamara it is face special eruptions eruptions on the scalp they are more of a ringworm type so though the, it is very useful in such types of conditions and in whenever you are using if for the skin conditions generally think of low potency you, you must start from the 30 or 60 even that will be better potency to be utilized in such types of cases sir which potency is useful in case of asthma asthma is different but generally 30 is better you can start with 30 and gradually go on increasing sir in case of diarrhea uh, which potency in case of diarrhea which potency generally you you catch the susceptibility of the person how is the person susceptibility if it is quite good give a moderate 200 is better potency if you feel that patient has lost the strength he is low susceptible then you can give the 30 how can differentiate sir, uh... rash and articular rash means any eruption on the skin is called as a rash when it is spread all over the skin is called as a rash articaria is uh, in marathi we call pitta this is these are the uh, net this is different than a typical rash 
Maithili has asked one question, sir. Are the brown yellow crust related to impetigo? Yes, definitely. This is this is one more thing for which the remedy is useful. Impetigo. Impetigo is the uh, staphylococcal infection boils, recurrent boils. Dalkamara plays very vital roles. Definitely. It is a very important remedy in impetigo. What we, we have discussed, we have discussed only Allen suspect. It, my suggestion is that this is one way with which we understand the core, but you must read it from different different Matra Medica to get and grab the remedy. In fact, if you will read the Murphy's keynotes, you will get many ideas about all those things. If you read the George Vettelkas, he will give you exactly the mental picture of the remedy. So these are very essential things which you can get over there. Sorry. Sir, in case of uh, diarrhea, along with in, um, pain in navel, uh, umbilical region, uh, Dalkamaris is a good choice, sir. Uh, in the, in the patient should have all the modalities where the Dalkamara is indicated. It should be specifically during this weather. So you, you must get the whole core, Dalkamara, then, then the Dalkamara is the remedy. You, you must able to find it out what are the characteristics which are indicating the Dalgama. The pain is not the thing on the basis of which you are going to prescribe Dalgama. You are going to prescribe this remedy on the basis of the characteristics of Dalgama which are which should be present. Which we have learned okay, in sir. this lecture. Okay, sir. Thank you. So that's all for today. We'll meet tomorrow at 8.30 for Matra Medica lecture and 6, 6 o'clock for the, our regular organ lecture. There was one question by Madhu as psoriasis as an autoimmune disease but reflected on skin. So we go with low potency. No. Mm, when you think about psoriasis and if you get real clear picture of the mind during the case, my suggestion for eczema, for lichen planus, for psoriasis, it requires high potency. It is a psychosomatic disorder. And when psychosomatic disorders are there, they yield very close, clearly, with the high potency than the low potency. So that is, that is my understanding regarding the potencies. So thank you being there. And we'll meet tomorrow with the new session. Uh, remedy for tomorrow. Uh, I don't know. We have made a list. Let now I will check the which is the remedy. Uh, after Dalkamara, natrum salt. Yes, close to it is natrum salt. We are going to learn natrum salt from the Allen's keynotes. Later on, we'll learn the um, natrum salt from the Susler's point of view. First, we'll learn it from the Allen's point of view. Okay. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Thank you. everyone being there. And tomorrow, keep it in your mind, the change of timings. From tomorrow onwards, regularly at 30. Thank you, sir. Okay.